Please keep that excitement going for my friend, your cruise director. He works very hard. Chris! Yes. How exciting. Everybody's relaxed. It's sea day today. I'm loving it. Okay, well, my name is Kevin. This is my friend, Matilda. Hello! They, they, they don't talk. <laughs> yes, they do. Hola. Hola. Oh, they speak Spanish. The number is Matilda. Stop. <laughs> Alta. No, I know what it means. Okay. She's been learning Spanish. She wants to be a world traveler. So she has been learning Spanish by watching uh -huh. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> You've heard of the show, right? For the little ones, they teach you English and Spanish. Little Mas Margarita taught the <laughs> She didn't learn that on Dora. I hope not. She's a very talented, very beautiful cockatoo. I, I am. Yes, you are. Oh, I am. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to tell them about yourself? My bird. Tell them anything. I'm like a bird only fly away. No. What's so funny? We know you're a bird. Tell them something they don't know. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? No. Don't you? No, we don't. We met many years ago. Why don't you tell them where we met? In the tiki 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 room in the tiki. They don't know Disneyland? All right, how many have been to Disney parks before? You've been to Disney parks. Yeah. All right. so, safe to assume you've been to the tiki room. Where the birds sing, words and the flowers cry. You're done. Whatever. <laughs> now you can tell she loves to sing, but she didn't last very long in the tiki room. She's not animatronic. We have some 80s people on board. I have a couple in our 80s. <laughs> Excuse me. We have a very diverse crowd here with Royal Caribbean. We have some that are older, some that are younger, but I'd say mostly in the middle, right? Yeah, that's funny because you're most in the middle, too. <laughs> Don't <like> that. <laughs> yeah, that Johnny Cash outfit's not helping you out at all. Can you not touch me? <laughs> I'll tell you what, we are very excited that you came back to cruising. It's been a year since we've been back, and thank you. This was actually a ship I did a residency on for four months <laughs> to come back to service. Love this ship, the Allure of the Seas. But we thank you for coming back. So applaud yourself. We give you applause. We're coming back. It's a lot of us to work again. Thank you for that. I'm loving it. Well, well, my wife and I, we have uh, five children, so it was nice to get out of the house after a year and a half of being stuck in there because the kids were like, oh, they just opened up a new escape room. I said, we're living in an escape room. I can't get out of this thing. <laughs> but with five kids, you had to be creative. We had to turn the whole downstairs into a big blanket fort. That, that was awesome. And the, we even went camping in the driveway in our SUV. No, that was because we couldn't pay rent. <laughs> Disregard. We, we tried Zoom shows. That didn't go as well as we thought. I mean, uh, did anybody actually see any Zoom shows? By applause, anybody watching any Zoom shows? Did, okay, three of you. That was basically our success. <laughs> Who's going to watch the show through their phone or through their computers, right? And everybody has had different computer or a different internet speed. We'd be right in the middle of the show and the thing would actually stop. Is he, is he actually going to do the thing or not do the thing, right? What is happening? I don't get it. What's going on? It was buffering. <laughs> Okay, okay. I think I scared you to just think. By the way, you should do that at the Windjammer tomorrow for breakfast. They love it up there. Just go up there and say, if I could just get two of those donuts, help me out. What am I talking about? I don't care. Give that to me, buddy. You don't need that donut. Give me that donut. Let's have some fun. Thanks for playing. You went weird. Thanks for playing. Well, uh, I tell you what, actually, Matilda, you know, we should give the kids a big round of applause because they had to do school from home for a year, right? Where are the kids at? We should give them applause. Yeah. I tried some online learning. It did not go well. That's because you're old. <laughs> really? All right, kids, how do you spell it? O-L-D. That stands for online learning disability. <laughs> All right, might be a little truth to that. Nonetheless, she... Until then, I were just talking backstage before the show. That might scare some of you. We are not deep enough for you folks yet. We're going to get you there. You need to drink more. It'll make sense. Okay, 
She has some great news tonight. I'm single. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> that is not what we talked about. That's where we're going. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> she told me she has a new song she'd like to share tonight. After I find a new man. Oh, you think you're going to find your new man here tonight? I know he's here. You can't see out here. I can smell him. <laughs> he smells yummy. <laughs> there he is. Where? Uh, Four girls, you see the white blue shirt, you're on. The glasses? Wait, wait, this guy. Look at you, Hottie McCartan. <laughs> okay, hold on. What, what, what is your name, sir? Max. No way. <laughs> I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> it's coming true. Okay. <laughs> you didn't know if he's single. Are you single, Max? No, awkward. <laughs> you know how to pick them. Are you dating, engaged, married? Dating is your is your date here then tonight? Right. All right. What is your name, ma'am? Kiana. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Max and Kiana, how long have you been together? Oh. About a year. So I have a chance. No, stop! <laughs> I'll just wait six more then. For what? A seven year itch. Would you? No. <laughs> Honey, I can scratch. <laughs> Look, I need you to sing your song. Do you speak Spanish, Max? What does it matter if you speak Spanish? Muy caliente. That means you're hot. He, okay, he knows, but Dora the Explorer. Okay, can you please sing your song? I want to see him up close. I am not bringing him up here. And I'm going down there. <laughs> no, without me, you're not. Let's do this. We don't have time for this. They want to see the magic, don't you? <laughs> Look at the troublemakers. <laughs> you know what? We've got a minute. We're just going to bring her down just for a second. She... Really? Yeah, baby. I'm coming. Kiana, move over. No, stay right there. <laughs> she wants you to pet her. Come here. She can just pet her. Come on, get in there. <laughs> can I get a little kiss on the cheek? Just a little one? You got to look at her. Come on, Kiana. Say yes. Come on. You got to see him up close. And I got a kiss too. <laughs> Did I taste like chicken? N no. <laughs> <laughs> really? Do you want to There's a line. And I'm crossing it. <laughs> I need you to sing your song so we get on the show, please. All right, listen up next. This is for you. Before I met you, life was so unkind. But you're the key to my peace of mind. You're really going to do this. Yeah. You make me feel. Stop. Touch me again. <laughs> This is overboard. Touch me again, you're going overboard. <laughs> you make me feel like a natural cockatoo. I'm putting her away. Call me Max! <laughs> oh, thank you all, oh, listen to him. Listen to him. Oh, thank you. Listen to him. Listen. Linda, listen. Linda, listen. I don't want to go in here. It stinks in here. <laughs> Max, save me! <laughs> Is he coming up here? No, he's not. Kiana, get off of him. <laughs> Ow! My tail? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, Max wouldn't do that to me, would you, Max? He likes my tail. <laughs> Ow! Psych! You're done. <laughs> How are we doing so far? Everybody all right? <laughs> Sorry about that whole thing. I had nothing to do with that. Just... <laughs> if I have to explain it, it's not going to be fun anymore. 
We have a lively late night show crowd. I think we're all right. We've got some kids here too. Where are the kids at? Up late past your bedtime. They're like, what bedtime? <laughs> no school either? Like, didn't start, school start again? <laughs> you just on late start or don't go? <laughs> oh, and you skipped? Well played. Nicely done. Just do it. Who cares? You can make it up later in life. <laughs> Look at me. I play with puppets. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's right. I do have five children. People often ask me, like, really, five? What, what are you, religious? What is it? <laughs> I'm a gambler. It's what happened. <laughs> Oh, let, let that one go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Somebody told me, they said, one in four children will take care of you when you're older. So we had one extra, just for shame. <laughs> but, uh, like my oldest is 24, then you have 20, and uh, so you carry the one to 14, and then 11, and 7. So they are, whew, got a new baby every cruise contract. <clears throat> <So we're> having... <laughs> okay, I'm not gone that long. But I had to explain to them what I do for a living. They want to know why I'm always gone and why I play with puppets as an adult. <laughs> But my 11-year-old was so excited to introduce me to his teacher. He said, this is my dad who plays with dolls. <laughs> I said, let me explain. I'm a ventriloquist. Try to explain that to an 11-year-old. I said, it comes from the two Latin words, ventri and loquist, which means multiple personality disorder. Okay. <laughs> but if you Google it, which I wouldn't recommend right now. A little pricey. <laughs> it's too late now. You've already bought it. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> Not that it works. But here's the thing. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Some things should stay inside. Inside the... Okay. I told my kid, look, let me just put it simple for you. It's the ability to talk without moving your mouth. He said, Mom does that. <laughs> I said, really? He goes, yeah. She says, get in the car. Now. <laughs> Where am I? The Trillipus parents here tonight. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of people in denial. It's okay. Look, it helps if you have a good imagination, because we all hear voices. <laughs> Just no matter what you do with them. <laughs> I put mine in my friends. <laughs> we call them friends now. <laughs> we used to call them dummies. You remember that? <laughs> Some dummy got offended. <laughs> okay, okay, let that one go quickly. <laughs> Listen, I'll be canceled at midnight anyway. <laughs> but they love me at the airport in these cases. I was checking in to fly here to Florida. The lady had a laundry list of questions. You have e-cigarettes, lithium batteries. What do you have? I said, I have uh, <clears throat> dummies in the box. She said, there's what? I said, I have dummies in the case. She said, they're not dummies. They're mannequin Americans. <laughs> And there we are. But uh, do, we any, do we have any frequent flyers here? Like to, like to still fly? No. Okay. The rest of you drove to the ship then. Okay. <laughs> but they've gotten better about losing your luggage or trying not to lose it anyway. But oh, I'll never forget, just before the pandemic, I was flying to Costa Rica to meet up with a ship and uh, my friends didn't show up. <clears throat> a little critical that they show up to do my job. <laughs> And uh, so I'm not allowed to tell you what the airlines was, but it rhymes with Delta. <laughs> Which I heard stands for don't expect luggage to arrive. <laughs> so just a little bitter on that one. I was the, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And the guy goes, un momento, senor. Um, cases are in the U.S., no problem. Bring here tomorrow. We'll send it to your hotel. There's no problem. I said, it is a problem. My hotel floats. You're going to be in a canoe chasing us? What do we got? <laughs> Okay. And he goes, okay, okay, uno momento, senor. Uh, four days to the next port. Four days, no problem. I'm like, it is a problem, but we got to do what we got to do. Get on the ship. The cruise director was not as nice as Chris. And this guy's like, your show's tomorrow. <laughs> Panic. So I'm meeting up with my cabin steward because they're a great psychologists. If you, you don't we really love our, our cabin stewards, they're beautiful people. Absolutely beautiful. He made all the towel animals for me on the bed to audition for the show. <laughs> It's a little scary when you see them all in one place. But will it be the hanging monkey, maybe the swan? I don't know. Definitely not the penguin, though. That one's freaky. But uh, if you haven't got it yet, you will get it. It's weird. Okay, anyway, so he said, go to the bar. That's where the creative thinkers are. Apparently, they're all at the bar right now. So I, went, I took his advice, went to the bar. Guy hit me a glass of Jack Daniels. He said, tell me it's the alcohol talking. <laughs> Three minutes, buddy. What else? What do you need? Lady at the end of the bar said, I'll bet there's an app for that. There's an app for pretty much everything, isn't there? Good old Steve Jobs. I mean, well, hopefully he was uploaded, not downloaded. <laughs> uh, okay, move along quickly. Just, uh, just move past it. Just, uh, 
I tell you what, we drew a face on a napkin, brought it to life. It works so well, we're going to duplicate it tonight. Will you help me make a puppet? Yep. Oh, good. Good, four of you. Actually, we're going to change it up just a little now. We can bring some young people up on stage. I need some help from the young people if I can. Uh, hopefully, uh, six to 12 would be the perfect age if we can. A guy and a girl would be even better if I can split up a little bit. Do we have any volunteers who want to help us out? A guy and a girl. I need between six and 12. Six and 12. I need the right... The right kids for this to work. If we can get a need to, this is going to be sketchy. If I get, oh, sketchy. All right, how about the gentleman right here in the third row? Yep, if we can get this gentleman right here, that helps us out. And then the young lady here in the white hat. If we get white hat, yep, come on up here. Let's give them a big round of applause. Yep, come on up. Stand on either side. There you are. Excellent. Let's get set up for you over here. All right. Let's get some information from the two of you. Okay, I'm rearranging them. Yeah, come on up there. I'm so nervous. Okay. Yeah, feel free to just join us in, in the flight here. Okay, how are you tonight? What? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> how are you tonight? Good. Very well. Your name is? Belle. Belle. Really? Really? <laughs> you ever been on a Disney cruise? No. I'll bet they'd love you, Belle. <laughs> Do you like a rose? Okay, let's move along. Uh, is that B-E-L-L-E? -L -L -E? Yeah. You're getting further away from the mic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Belle, where are you from? Okay. Oh, really? Okay. What, what do you do for a living? <laughs> School. How's that working out for you? You're not there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, really? No, look, we all need a break, so it's all right. <laughs> a year wasn't enough? Okay, let's move now. Sorry, sorry. Enough of this. All right, so how old are you then? 12. 12. Oh, almost a teenager. Are you ready for that? Seven days. Seven days? <laughs> You'll be off the ship, so that'll be all right then. Parents are ready for that? They're ready? You ready for that? She's, She's already passed the whole adolescence moment. She's more of an adult then, is what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> That's good. This is exciting. What do you want to do when you uh, don't do school anymore? Don't you don't know yet? Oh, it's plenty of time. Really, 12. I mean, <laughs> so many things to do or not do. Really. Okay, Belle, stay right here. How are you tonight? Your name is? Luke. Luke. Yeah, and we're Belvin. Luke, like, like the force, Luke. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Different era of film. Uh, see, Luke, like Skywalker type. No. Luke? What's the first letter? L U L L. L. So it is Luke ish. Luke. Yes. All right, just want to see if we're all on the same page. Sometimes my head is a little twisted up inside. Uh, Luke, uh, you're how old then? 11 and 12. Are you single? <laughs> nope. Okay, then moving on. We do what we can. It's a few days left. Let's move on. Uh, wh where do you live in? Where's home? Uh, I live in Canada. Okay. Yeah. You brought the whole family. <laughs> Any part in particular of Canada? Just... Uh, Newfoundland. Oh. <laughs> I've been there. That's a beautiful place. Lovely. Fun people up there. It's good. And you don't have the accent. It's not a real strong Newfie accent. Uh, I have, like, a, a little bit of an accent. You dial it back for when you're on, on stage. I can, <laughs> like, we're not going to let them know where we're from. Okay. What do you want to do when you uh, are out of school then? Uh, well, I just usually don't have had or, like, playing outside on the bike or something. Yeah, there's a future in that, the iPads and stuff. That... <laughs> Let's move along then. Let's just get to the real meat and potatoes of this whole thing. I'm going to get in trouble. So we got... we're going to do some drawing. Do you like to draw? Yes, good. This is going to be helpful. Can we get you to line up kind of in this area just so they can see what's going on? Just This would be perfect. Uh, we're... I'm going to attempt to do some drawing. You want to join us on this side. That's perfect. But just wherever you want really is good. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do the easy part, putting the eyes and the mouth together, but this is super boring. This is why you're here. Do we want a happy or a sad face? Happy or sad? Happy. Yes! Happy, sad, happy cruise so far. All right, we've lost Belle. She's over there somewhere. All right, Chad. <laughs> feel a little bit out of the line. So sorry about that. All right, and uh, let's give you a little parameters, and then the rest is up to you to have some fun. All right, we're going to start ladies first. Belle, if you don't mind, let's get, take the marker then. Can you just give us a nose? It could be a big nose, little nose, pointy nose. Who knows? Really, just... Just, it's your drawing. It's just have some fun with it. It's just, uh... Yes! Are you, are you a musician by any chance? 
it looks very similar to, it's, okay, it's, it's a nice nose, a little bubble nose. Let's pass the marker then, and uh, let's do some ears. They could be big, little, pointy, whatever sounds good to you. Just have some fun with it. This is, this is good. Are you, are you doing sign language? <laughs> you're communicating with the family right now. This is code for something. Yes, this is like, I have to get out of here. Is that what you're saying? She's got a pee already? Okay. All right, sit there. Look at this artistry. Nice ears. Well played. Wow, the detail. And this is turning out to be quite fun. All right, let's pass the market in before she uh, has an accident. Let's, uh, let's do... Uh, <laughs> Let's do uh, uh, hair. Can we do some uh, hair? Could be like one hair, no hair, afro, mohawk. Perfect. Yes. I like this. This is shaping up quite well. Let's pass the marker then. Can we do maybe some eyebrows? They say so much about a personality. Are they up? Is he surprised? Down? Is he angry? One up, one down? We don't know. Just uh, just uh, emotion is really what we do with those few things. We're, we're going to do all of them. Okay. While well, he's taking his time with the eyebrows. <laughs> Have you ever had the, this weird experience when you get in the elevator, you're one of the last ones in, you're facing everybody, do you face the glass, do you face them? Face everybody and just say, you know, I could talk to you about Amway, it just takes two minutes. <laughs> They'll vacate and let you have the whole thing to yourself. Just, are we still working? Yeah, oh, nice. Very, very strong. It looks like, like the guy from the Smurfs. <laughs> the old guy. Oh, okay, let's pass the marker in one more time. Let's do uh, neck and shoulders so we don't have a floating head. That way when he eats and drinks, there's... Somewhere for the food and beverage to go. <laughs> just, uh, anyway, sure, just. Okay, yeah, just different perspective. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. It looks pointy edges, it gives a little attitude, doesn't it? Yes, it's very scary. Okay, and uh, let's give him a funny name. Should we just give him a funny name? While you're doing that, I have, uh, I have some. Hand sanitizer, just for fun. We have the families, they're still here. Can we get them to raise their hands? Can we, can we, you mind if we share a little hand sanitizer? We're good? Parents over here good? All right, this is a weird day and age. We all live, you know, use a little yeah. hand sanitizer. You, you missed out the early cruising days. We didn't have this stuff. You know, you know we did. I'll trade you. I'll trade you that one for that. Yeah, that's a short hand. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just a little bit of that. We didn't have this stuff. We, had, we'd go up and down the stairways, you know, those railings. Lick them. Lick, lick them all. That's how we did it. Nobody got sick. Everybody did for a minute, but that was it. Okay. They did a beautiful job, and this is Bob. All right, go ahead and take a bow. You did a beautiful job. Thank you, Thank you Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. That is creepy. Bob. I love it when the young people do the drawing because you never know what you're going to get. It truly is like a box of chocolates, isn't it? But there are professionals that do this for a living, and they're called caricature artists. You see them oftentimes like in port, and they put like a hat. And the different things like, but Bob, I mean, Bob's not something you see every day. But is it all right? Oh, by the way, and broadcast is helping us out by putting it up on the side screen so that people can look further back and see what's happening. Yeah, say, you don't like it? What's wrong? It's very detailed, really. I should take a picture of it because I don't get this kind of art. What's wrong? The eyes. The, are they too sinister? 